It's been two years since I put these WS2811 pixels on the front of my house. As you can see from the dirt and the cobwebs and they've survived really well. So now it's time to improve them for this Christmas. In previous years I've put lights on the inside of the windows at the front of my house but this year I am upgrading and I've spent quite a lot of time building these contraptions and these are sort of frames these two bigger ones are going to go around uh, the upstairs windows to highlight those windows and these two here are going to go in the downstairs windows now these took quite a bit longer to build there's obviously more in their construction with the central uh, cross there um, but yeah these are made out of uh, this stuff it's just a 16 mil plastic conduit that's designed to go on the inside of walls to chase cables behind plasterboard and that sort of thing uh, the plastic is really quite thin which is advantageous here because i'm putting lights inside of them um, i've 3d designed and printed some corner brackets and uh, the t ones and the four-way ones that go there um, and just glued them with super glue and actually that's really robust um, it's working really very well this was a test piece that I created um, I held this in one of these uh, which just holds it at 90 degrees while everything is drying they turned out really useful as well so inside this plastic conduit is uh, just this standard uh, 30 pixels per meter WS2812 uh, tape and that's uh, inside there pointing outwards and is uh, reasonably well diffused by the uh, the plastic conduit there so yeah this is a sizable upgrade to my uh, Christmas window decorations all of these are going to obviously be mounted on the outside of the windows and they're going to be held on by these 3D printed brackets um, which I designed and they just clip in and clip over the window. They've got a bit of fishing line there just to make sure nothing falls off and hopefully with three at the top, uh, one down at the side near the bottom and then the wire actually trapped in the window as well hopefully they're going to stay on the windows for the whole of December and uh, look quite pretty now on the outside of the house is a string of LEDs in the shape of a Christmas tree there are 256 or two, no 253 of these WS2811 pixels that come down and this is just power in here um, 5 volt power everything is just 5 volts and uh, on the outside the windows you can see those have been put up now and uh, yeah I think they look pretty good and everything is working so in the kitchen window behind the tea and coffee urns are some wires and a 5 volt 150 watt power supply so that's uh, 30 amps as you can see that's fused and that power goes out to the Christmas tree string and also into this dig quad controller board here with the ESP32 on board each of the strings is uh, fused as well and uh, this yeah can control up to four different outputs and uh, it's quite a neat little board this um, can handle quite a lot of current has some options for expansion as well the ESP32 is running WLED uh, and that's version 13 the latest one as of a few weeks ago and uh, yeah it runs really really well and it's able to run the 253 uh, pixels of the tree and uh, I think each of the windows has 106 in it so yeah it's doing those 450 odd LEDs absolutely fine in the middle window here there's just one string highlighting the um, the window so uh, I think it's 120 LEDs or pixels I should say 
So it's running off an ESP8266, which is powered by this micro USB because it's a Wemos D1 Mini. Now, oh, that's probably not recommended because all the current for those uh, pixels is going through the Wemos D1 Mini's uh, Shockey diode, which uh, does get a bit hot, and I have had them burn out in the past, but this one's been running quite happily for a few nights now, so hopefully it will be all right. If it isn't, I'll just bridge it or I'll uh, replace it. The top floor window is powered by this 60 watt, five volt power supply, so that's 12 amps, as you can see, a fuse there, and it's controlled by another ESP32, and that is connected to uh, this uh, Motram board, I think it is, Motram Labs. I'll put a link in the description below. That's a handy board. It's got two outputs on it that you can use in WLED with WS2812 uh, and 2811 LEDs. Um, so this is controlling the, uh, the lights around this window and also this star which is in the window up here as well on this bracket, which is just a bit of threaded rod and a 3D printed base and bracket for the top. This is probably the shoddiest part of my um, installation here. Um, this is 3D printed, five different arms of this star, individually 3D printed, then just tie wrapped together. And they've just got four 28, 12 um, pixels in there, and there you go. Oh, right on cue. It's lit up as part of my display. So I have the four WLED controllers, two ESP32s and two ESP8266s right at the front of my house. They're obviously all running wirelessly, but I do have an access point at the front of the house, so that hasn't proved to be a problem at all. They're controlled in tandem, um, using a sequence I created in Xlights, and then I've uploaded those sequences to FPP player, which is the Falcon player, which runs on a Raspberry Pi, so I don't have to have my laptop running to run the show. So that's scheduled to turn on at around dusk, and then it turns off at 8.30, 9 o'clock at night and uh, it all runs automatically. Even the ESPs and the power supplies are on smart switches so that they only turn on at the right time because actually WS2811 and WS2812 pixels consume quite a bit of power even when they're not displaying any colors. So I wanted to reduce that. So yeah, the smart switches solve that problem. So I hope you enjoyed that little show there and you hope I hope you enjoyed that little show there and I also hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, comment if you can, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. So I hope you enjoyed that little show there and you hope I hope you enjoyed that little show there and I also hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, comment if you can, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that little show there, and I also hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, comment if you can, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.